Kevin, I would do something good for this person, but this person has really made me angry. This person has done something mean to me or bad to me, so I see no sense in helping this person out or giving this person something because if I give them something, it is like telling them that how they are treating me is okay, so since I don't want to give out the wrong message, let me not do anything for that person until that person begins to treat me rightly. Some people have that frame of mind. Maybe a year ago, one or two years ago, maybe, yes, around there, <laughs> there was this person that would get on my nerves so much. It was crazy. And something was coming to my mind. Kevin, buy this person some new shoes. No. <laughs> I am not going to buy this person's shoes because this person irritates me so badly. Kevin, buy this person some shoes. No. That thought stayed in my mind for about two months. I kept on like, no. <laughs> I say for a month or two. I won't say every day, but quite often for about two months. And it was coming to me so much that I was like, okay, I am going to buy this person some shoes. I bought this person some shoes and this person was really shocked. Kevin, why did you buy me some shoes? Well, if it was my choice, I would not. <laughs> but it kept on coming to me to buy you shoes. So I gave in. This person told me that the shoes that he was wearing were either too tight or he needed some new shoes. And I guess this person was really shocked about it. Listen. I believe I told you that our thoughts are not coincidental. It is not a coincidence when thoughts come to your mind. God purposely places thoughts into our mind. God knows what we need. My Lord. We ask God for things, right? We pray to God for some things. What is coming to me now, God wants to do things for you, but if you are not willing to be obedient, God wants to break those bad things off your life your mental illnesses, illness. He wants to take those bad things off your life, but you are not willing to be obedient. When a thought comes to your mind, and I am not saying that I do it every time because Sometimes I 
hesitate for a very long time, <laughs> which is bad. But God wants to do things for you, and he purposely places thoughts into your mind so that you can do it and be obedient to him so he can break these curses off your life. Don't you know that we are going to reap whatever we sow? I continue to say this because people are just one ear and out the other. My Lord, better things in life can come to you. Peace, happiness can come to you. But if you are not willing to obey those positive thoughts in your head that comes to your mind, many people want God to talk to them. Many people say that they want to be directed by God. He is directing you every day. Many of us are not going to hear his actual voice, but he directs us in many ways, through our thoughts, through other people, through other things. If you are not taking heed, you are missing out. There is a reason why thoughts comes into our mind. It is not by chance. Every, almost every time I followed my positive thoughts, there was a reason for it. There was a cause for it. People would say to me, Kevin, how did you know that I needed this or I wanted you to do that or this? I did not know. I am not psychic. You are hearing the voice of God when you are listening to the positive thoughts that are coming into your head. And it doesn't have to come through in the form of thoughts. For instance, this one guy was speaking to me and was telling me that I need to do this and that. And I am like, whatever, you know. <laughs> and just about once a month, this person would continue to say the same thing over to me. And whatever. One day, something happened and my thoughts went right back to what that guy was telling me almost every month if we follow we know that something is of God or of Satan by what it is about if you have thoughts to cut yourself, that is not of God. If you have thoughts to kill yourself, that is not of God. If you have thoughts of doing something kind for a person, that is of God. If you have thoughts to compliment a person, that is of God. If it is good, <laughs> it is of God. If it is bad, it is not of God. So if you have thoughts to smoke weed and to get drunk, that is of demons. Demons are placing those thoughts into your mind. Our thoughts don't originate from us. Either a demon is placing thoughts into your mind or a spirit of God is placing thoughts into your mind. 
When you choose a thought, that thought becomes your own. But that thought did not originate from you. You did not create that thought. That thought came from another source. When you choose that thought, then you are making that thought your own. Your thoughts are not coming to you by chance. I am telling you. How are you sure, Kevin? I have been going through this for quite a while. And it doesn't it doesn't surprise me anymore when a positive thought comes to my mind and someone gets surprised by what I do or what I say. I am not surprised anymore because I know that I am being led by the Holy Spirit when I follow the positive thoughts that come to my mind. It is not by chance. We have to understand this. Not by chance. So let me stop here. God bless you.